In this video, we are going to talk about limitations of dimension analysis. So there are only four limitations which are important, which we have to know. Okay, the first thing which we need to know under dimension analysis is that dimension analysis is only applicable to three quantities. Okay, it is only applicable to length, the mass, and the time. Now, whenever we are talking about the length, we are talking about mm, the meters. And when we are talking about the mass, we are talking about kgs. Then when we talk about the, the time, the SI unit is what? Mm, is uh, seconds. Now, whenever you see a question asking about to say what are the dimensions, meaning that mm, they want us to put where, where wherever you see that there is mass, or meters, let me, let me start with meters, then we are supposed to replace this one with him, square brackets and then we put the length just like this when, we, when it comes for the cages then we have to represent it with what? the square brackets we put M the capital M then the seconds we are talking about time it is the same we are going to put this so this is the first limitation which you have to know it is only applicable to length mass and time so if you have anything which is not length mass and time remember you have to break it down until you come up with the length mass and time for example let's say you have um, you have been given maybe we are talking about maybe pressure so you know that pressure is force divided by area and force is in Newton but Newton is not is not in the what the is not the law for dimension remember when we're talking about dimensions we only want to have the mass length and what the time so we also know that in force is equal to mass times acceleration okay so now we can see that if I can replace this pressure meaning that I need to break it down to say force is going to be mass times acceleration this is going to be the area so meaning that it's going to be what is the SI unit for mass it is the kg the acceleration it is meter per second squared the, the area it is square meter meaning that now I can see that I've come back to the laws of dimensions Okay, so now I can see that I have got the kg, I've got the meter, I've got the time, I've got the what? also the meter the meter there which is the length so basically that is the first law which you have to know that is the first limitation so it is only applicable to length mass and time okay now the next thing is um we need to know that eh, dimension analysis does not give the value of the constant k so for example you might when you want to drive an equation okay so maybe let's say the you want to say acceleration is proportional to what v times r we know that where there is proportion you have to replace it with what equal to k so it's going to be this so this dimension analysis does not give the value of k you can get the values of, of all the quantities which you have but you can't get the value of k okay k is constant unless you have been given the value of k okay the third one is uh, dimension analysis is not applicable to logarithmic functions exponential functions and trigonometric functions as long as you see sine you see tan you see cos it, this is not applicable as long as you see log it is not applicable as long as you see uh, e raised to the power something it is not applicable so these are not allowed for dimension analysis we don't consider these so whenever you see these under dimension analysis we are going to be treating them as a constant okay that is also very important which we need to know the fourth one the last one is dimension analysis cannot drive more than one part of the equation 
that is very 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 important dimension analysis can only give us one part of the equation for example if we have the equation which is the displacement is equal to v initial times t plus half a t squared dimension analysis cannot help us to prove that this part here is equal to the whole of this no it can only help us to prove that this part is equal to only this part we only get one part so whenever you are proving you are only supposed to get one part so it's either you get this part with this part here or you get this part with this part here okay so now let's try to prove that this equation is dimensionally correct so we have our equation which is uh, the displacement is equal to v initial times t plus a half acceleration times t squared now we are saying that according to the rules according to the limitations of dimension analysis we are supposed to compare one by one we are supposed to start this and this also this and this that's all again we we, we come next we, go, we are going to compare this again with the, the whole of this okay so let's go ahead and compare so we're going to start with this so we're going to start with this is going to be equal to v initial times t okay so what are the si unit of the displacement it is in meters so i'm going to put them in brackets the velocity is meters per second then i'm going to put them this then we have the time which is t it is in seconds now after writing this the next is uh, we need to put the dimensions of the quantities which we have so what is the dimensions of the meters it is length so i'm going to put length i put them in square brackets then this is going to give me what it's going to give me uh, it is also length then i have divided by the time is t then i have times we have also t so we can see that at this now we can at this point we can cancel the time so we are going to have the length is equal to the length so we have proved now this point here this part here and this part but for us to prove that it is dimensional correct we have to get the same answer when we also prove using this okay so let's go ahead and prove now using that other part so we can now put this part here to say it is length has to be equal to length so we go to the next one the next part is that uh, we have to compare the displacement and the half a t squared now in this case half is constant we are not going to consider it okay very very important we are going just to ignore it okay so what we are going to do is we know that the dimensions of the si units for the displacement is meters then the acceleration is meter this then we do this the time is seconds now we have to square it now from here we know that the dimensions of the meters it is length has to be equal to there we also have the length then we have this is t to the power 2 times also t to the power 2 so as we can see now we can cancel the what the time okay it is raised it is both raised to the power 2 so we can see that our length is equal to length now we can see that this is dimensionally correct now if this one is giving you different from this one meaning it is dimensionally incorrect so this is basically the limitations which we need to know under dimension analysis okay